This is just a quick podcast to show you how to create auxiliary tracks within Logic and route all of your different tracks to that auxiliary track. So we're in the mix window here, and if you go up to options in the top left hand corner, create new auxiliary channel strips. So you're on one, and depending on what you're putting on that auxiliary, you either want it mono or stereo. So if we're putting a reverb on there, for example, we'll usually have it in stereo. So let's create that. The next thing we need to do is assign this auxiliary track as a bus. So if you go to the input, hold it down, bus, and then just choose the first free one. In, in this case, we haven't got any, so bus one. This auxiliary track is now referred to as bus one, and that will come in handy in a bit when we're looking at routing from other tracks. The next thing we need to do is choose a plugin, and like I said a minute ago, we're going to just go for a reverb on this one. There we go, and just make sure your track volume is on zero. We can get this out of the way for a sec, we're just going to take a look at what's happening on this track that we want to apply the reverb to. So if you go to send, this is what you're going to use to internally route your track to the auxiliary. So if you go down to the bus menu, you can see there it's got bus 1 in brackets auxiliary 1 or whatever you've named yours. So select that and that's now routed your original track through this new auxiliary you've just created. This little dial here controls how much of your signal goes to that auxiliary. Just one quick thing with auxiliary tracks. They work like any other track, so if you solo something, the auxiliary track will then automatically become muted. So to get around that, you need to solo safe it. So if you hold down control and click on solo, you can see there's a little red line through it now. That means it's solo safe. So if we solo the track that we want to add the reverb to and have a listen to it, that's with no reverb on it. I'm just going to show you on the drum kit as well, because I think it'll be a better example, it'll be slightly more obvious what's going on. So, same thing, send, bus, bus one. You can send as many things as you want to that reverb, it doesn't matter. That's the purpose of an auxiliary, so let's have a listen to it. There you go, it's a lot more obvious.